you ready to go full bore? 48 minutes? Ready to go? Let's do it. No, we, uh, we're easing our way into this. We did more today than, you know, the first real basketball stuff today. It felt pretty good, so we'll, uh, unfortunately, I got to shoot around, to, uh, just shoot around tomorrow, so I'll do some one-on-one -on -one stuff afterwards, but, uh, keep, keep ramping up, try to do a full practice on Thursday. How's it feel in the limited stuff? So great. Yeah. I mean, the, the worst part was the, you know, obviously the, con you know, the conditioning and, uh, you know, my legs from not playing, playing in five, six weeks, how long it's been. But my back felt, uh, my back felt really good. Any urgency just with the other injury issues you guys are going through for free to come back, do you think? Yeah, I mean, I've, yeah, but I've been having that urgency for a while now. So for me, I'm just happy to finally let me practice again. So I'll, <laughs> take, I'll take that for now. And then uh, you know, hopefully, like I said, Thursday, we're going to do a full practice. And if, if that goes good, then I'll start trying to, to put some pressure on it to get back in uniform as, as soon as I can. But, uh, until then, we just kind of do a little bit more each, each, each day. Do you have to buy the doctor's dinner to get them to clear you for Thursday? <laughs> no, but I, I will if that's what it, if that's what it takes. <laughs> We're doing a lot of work, obviously, with Alex McKechnie. Just, anytime you have a back injury, it's just this core, just the key sort of to balance out the, the tension. Well, it's just it's it's huge because it, you know those are all the muscles that you know protect injuries uh, that you have in your back or whatever. So that's what we've been focusing on on most is, is the core, yeah. How much cautiousness has been, cautiousness has been involved just to avoid you know, setbacks, relapse? A lot, because I think the first time, you know, I came back too early from that the injury, from the my back in the preseason, and I was good for about two weeks, and then I, w I couldn't move again when I got out of bed. So uh, they want, you know, make sure and the first time the doctor told me six weeks too but I felt better after a week and a half two weeks so I was like no way so this time I started feeling better the same time frame but uh, we were a lot more cautious this time did a lot more uh, core and strengthening work and we feel now that we're at a place where it's, it's strong enough to, to uh, you know play play NBA style games as you said, you've had way more time to watch than, than you'd like. Is, is there any particular thing when you look at the game is like, well, I, I think I could really help in this facet that they're not doing? Yeah, that. absolutely. When you sit back and watch, it's, you know, you see everything. Uh, when you're out there playing, you get caught up in the game. So a lot of times you, you know, you don't, you don't see it, uh, see as much as when you're, you're not playing. You know, sitting on the bench and watching films every day with the guys, uh, you know, I see a lot of different, different uh, areas where I can help the team out. For example? I mean, just, you know, knowing the offense, knowing that we've been struggling, we haven't really been, I mean, obviously not last night, we played beautiful basketball last night, but before that, uh, moving the ball, releasing pressure, back, you know, backdoor steps, all those those little things that, uh, you know, make this offense run. Um, I know I can get in there and help the, help the team get back to moving the ball better. Do you pass along what you've seen to the different guys on the team? Or do you yeah, team? individually. If I see something during a game, I'll say something. Uh, you know, in, in the film sessions, coaches normally point stuff out, but during the games, I definitely point stuff out.